God, glory to God in the highest, glory to God in the highest, we say amen, we say amen, well, glory to God in the highest, yeah, glory to God in the highest, we say amen, come on, sing it out today, yeah, yeah. Glory to God in the highest, we sing amen, Lord, we say amen, glory to God in the highest, yeah, glory to God in the highest, we sing amen. We sing Second Corinthians 5.17. This is very special to me today. I had a whole nother flow going for this dream. Lamentations 3.25. Then I woke up this morning. New creations, he said, do it. Hallmark scripture of 2 Corinthians 5. Second Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone, any man is in Christ, the Messiah, he is a new creation, God. The old has passed away, and behold, the new has now come. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he or she is a new creation, a new creature, actually. The old has passed away, and behold, the new has come. And the Amplified Classic, 2 Corinthians 5.17 says it this way. the Messiah they are a new creation yeah. they are new creations therefore if any person is engrafted into Christ the Messiah whoa, they are new creations a new creature in Christ behold old things have passed away Becoming a new creation. Oh, the larva becomes a butterfly. A butterfly. It's the word in the Greek. You are a new, you are a new creation. Yeah. If you 
you've been engrafted into Jesus Christ, the Messiah. He said to his Father, new creation, new creation. Now in context, this is the ESV. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. This is verse, verses 17, 18, and 19 together. 2 Corinthians 5. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, look, see, the new has come. All of this is from God the Father who, through Christ, reconciled us to himself. Wow. And then he gave us this. Get ready. He gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Wow. Excuse me if I fall on the floor. The ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was re reconciling the world to himself. Not by counting their trespasses against them. But he entrusted to us the message of reconciliation. So the two M's, catch this now, the ministry of reconciliation in verse 18. Then... Paul finishes it, his letter to the Corinthians. He's entrusted to us the message of reconciliation, the message of God has entrusted to us the ministry and the message of reconciliation. Seventeen. Therefore, if anyone is united with the Messiah, what happens? Well, he becomes a new creation, a new creature in Christ. The old has passed away. Look, what has come is fresh and is new. So then if anyone is in Christ, 17 again, he's a new creation. The old things passed away, E-D, passed away. Behold, new things have come into being. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. And look, a new life has begun. Your new life in Christ has begun because your heart's been changed. Born again, united with Messiah. Born again, united with Messiah. Yeshua HaMashiach. Yeah, the Lord Jesus Christ, new creation. Yeah. We are new creations in Jesus Christ. New creatures, new creations in new creations in Jesus Christ. Wow, are you getting it? Verse 18. But all things are from God. Huh. But all things are from God who through Jesus Christ reconciled us to himself. Receiving us into favor. He brought us into harmony with himself. What a word. And he gave us the 
ministry of reconciliation, the service of reconciliation, so that by our example, we might bring others to him. So by our example, we might bring others to him. Verse 19, for God was in Christ and made agree of an agreement between the world and himself. And he did not impute people's sins to them. And he's committed to us, get ready, the preaching of the atonement. The new Matthew Bible replaces the ministry of reconciliation or the message with the preaching of the atonement and the new life version and he gave us the work uh, oh really what is that the work of telling and showing men this new creation salvation he gave us the work of telling and showing men this new creation salvation this means he charges us to proclaim this message that heals and restores our broken relationships with God and each other say it again Ken okay well three times the voice translation 2 Corinthians 5 19 this means he charges us to proclaim the message the message that heals and restores our broken relationships with God and with man and there it is the message of reconciliation we love you, Lord. This is mind-blowing. It's heart-lifting. Everlasting Father. Everlasting Father. Worthy to receive all glory. Let us now proclaim the King in majesty, wonderful Consular, you're the mighty God, Lion of Judah on your throne. Change 
by the power, changed by the power of your blood, Lord Jesus. Yeshua HaMashiach, we're changed by the power of your blood. Changed by the power, changed by the power, of, changed by the power of your blood. Oh, we're changed by the power of your blood. by the power, changed by the power of, changed by the power of your blood, Yeshua, changed by the power of your new creations in Christ Jesus, oh, we're changed by the power, changed by the power, yeah, changed by the power of, changed by the power of your blood. Love these times together. We appreciate your prayers, your intercession, your gifts, your financial support. Thank you. As they say on the streets of Jerusalem, 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 shalom, shalom. Nothing broken, nothing left out because he said so. Love you guys. We'll see you real soon. God bless.